There you go. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Mark. 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 Yep. At Urban, 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 Urban Traveler. Oh, string you along, play with your emotions, get your curiosity up, but that's not how the urban traveler do. So I'm just going to answer the question, was it worth it? Hell yes. Keep watching and I'm going to tell you why. What's up my peeps? Welcome to another episode from your favorite urban traveler. Now today I'm gonna to take you up to a town called Walden, New York. Why? Because Walden happens to be the home of the Angry Orchard Cider House. And Angry Orchard also has one of my favorite things, other than the drink, Angry Orchard is my favorite drink, but they also have a tree house and you guys know I like me some tree houses. So we're gonna go up there and check out the grounds and see what it's like. And you come along with me and enjoy the ride. assure you that this is going to be a pretty good adventure I want to ask you to hit the like button turn on your notifications and subscribe to my channel so you know when I drop the next one First of all, I gotta tell you, being able to get in the car and drive north to almost any place in upstate New York on a day as beautiful as this is a true blessing. You know what I mean? It, it kind of sets the temperament and makes the destination as satisfying as the journey. But this wasn't a good day from the perspective of visiting a cider house and learning how they brew hard cider. I could have watched a YouTube video for that. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know about the cider house. I came up here to see the tree house. I didn't know about this band either. But talk about a surprise, 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 surprise. So it is absolutely ridiculous that I didn't get anybody to come up here with me. This place, I feel, I feel so like, I don't know, I don't even, I feel so excited. I feel stupid, to be honest. I feel so excited, I feel stupid. This is cool, damn. <laughs> the vibe here is like, wow. I mean, I don't know anybody who would like this. Go down to the lower level. Um, I don't know, maybe get me something to eat. They have pizza, they have pizza up here. So I'm gonna get something to eat or something to drink and see what's up. These boys had to know I was coming up to shoot this video. I mean, they opened up with the Isley Brothers? Come on, man. So all I could do now is get online, grab me something to drink, and chill. So I ended up getting the blue ball, let me see what it is, the blue ball gumball? The blue gumball, there you go, the blue gumball. Stupid, go this thing, wow. Some of their ciders they don't sell in the stores. things I noticed after getting here is between the music, the friendly staff, the overall vibe, without any thought or effort, I automatically eased into a chill type mode. It's kind of cool actually, it just gradually took me over.
this point, I'm about 45 minutes before I go to the treehouse and sample some cider, so I figured I should put something in my belly beforehand. So the treehouse tour, uh, the cider she'll be having on that program are going to be the first crush cider and the blueberry rosé. Okay. Uh, so if I would make any recommendation to you to not get any ciders before then, it would be those two. But, you know, okay. if you like blueberry rosé, you like blueberry rosé. Get it? Yeah! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are y'all go, going up in the treehouse? Yeah, we went already. You went already? Really? Okay, I'm about to do it now. Alright, cool. <laughs> treehouses so just being here is kind of cool obviously they didn't do a full build with this treehouse as it's just supposed to be a place to chill with your drink as as they explain the different ciders and so forth believe it or not i've never been to an actual tasting before so doing it in a treehouse for the first time could be kind of interesting later this week okay. promise what's your name <laughs> mark mark urban traveler i must yes i am yeah this was Anthony, our tour guide. Let the treehouse tour begin. So typically, you have a cluster of trees you build a treehouse on, right? But this tree is so massive, it's so big, you only needed just this one to build that treehouse, which is super cool. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Isn't this pretty spectacular? <laughs> pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so you guys pick the best time for a treehouse tour. This is what I like to call the sunset tour uh, because the sun is setting on our beautiful 60 acre orchard, uh, which you guys can see from here. I also have great view of the Shawan Gunk Mountain Ridge behind you there. Um, the Shawan Gunks actually are really cool because we do have wild crab apple trees growing uh, in that region. I've never, I've never tasted a cider that much before in my life. Yeah, that's crazy. It's thin. It's very thin. Or light. 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 I've never tasted it that fully. Right. That's crazy. Yeah, hitting every single part of your tongue. Very important, right? Because different parts of your tongue pick up different aspects and characteristics uh, whenever you're drinking or eating. Which is really nice. Aromatically, what do you guys smell? It smells good. It smells good. Yeah, yeah. Right? You smell like berries in there, maybe like raspberries and stuff. Um, like fruitiness in general, you smell in there, which is really nice. Mm. Um, it also is a big part of the taste, the aromatics, right? So the blueberry rosé wasn't as bold a taste as the first crush, but I guess I enjoyed this more because I kept sipping on it and sipping and sipping. Different. It's different. <laughs> really different. Okay. So really big contrast between that first crush and this blueberry rosé, right? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I didn't see it. Oh, that is a light. That's like a. It is it's very light. Light touch. Okay. Oh, we're doing a video. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. All right. So yeah, this is the part where I uh, or four more seconds. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, right, so so first. Yeah. Great Who's going first? Yeah. This is a great combo. There you go. This is a great dynamic. I feel like if you are up here and I am up here at the same time, we just do these tours back to back. There you go. This might be a new thing, guys. Make it happen. You can do this, right? You all like this? Yeah. I mean, this is my fourth Pete Nelson treehouse. Oh, snap. This guy's an official over there. Are you like a treehouse? Like I do treehouses. I love treehouses. You just do treehouses? Yeah. I did the one in Oregon. Uh, Oregon. Okay. He did one in Oregon. I went to that one. I, I did the one. That's the um, 
the tree sort, the tree tree resort. Oh yeah, isn't that beautiful? Yeah, the tree resort. I went there. That was our first one. My daughter and I, we went there. We had no idea, and then we found out about the treehouse thing. Uh, yeah. Treehouse guy. After it was like we were just there. <laughs> you know? yeah. and, and then we went to the one in um, Longwood Gardens. Yeah, Longwood Gardens. We went to that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man, no problem. Yeah. Gonna record you, so make it look good. By this point, I had no make it look good. I mean, what's he talking about? Man, I gotta tell you, this was chill. This this was a good day. I came up here to check out the treehouse, but the overall experience, definitely worth it. not an amazing experience um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i think i'm a little tipsy right now anyway <laughs> hit the like button hit the like button subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know when i drop the next one peace